This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. On a Monday, I'm gonna let it shine. On a Tuesday, I'm gonna let it shine. On a Wednesday, I'm gonna let it shine. On a Thursday, I'm gonna let it shine. On a Friday, I'm gonna let it shine. On a Saturday, I'm gonna let it shine. Day, I'm gonna let it shine. I let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, oh yes, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I am on the road, rock is higher than night. Jehovah hide me, I am on the road. Go tell my enemies, I'm the on the road. Jehovah hide me, I am on the road. I am on the road, rock is higher than night. Jehovah hide me, I am on the road. Go tell my enemies, I am under the rock. Jehovah, me, I am under the rock. I am under the rock. The rock is I am alive. Jehovah, me, I am under the rock. Go tell my enemy, I am under the rock. Jehovah, me, I am under the rock. In the valley, way down in the valley, when my Savior and my people cried, He took me up on the mountain, way up on the mountain. I'm drinking from the fountain that never shall run dry. I was down in the valley, hey, way down in the valley, when my Savior and my people cried. He took me up on the mountain, way up on the mountain. I'm drinking from the fountain that never shall run dry. And I'm so glad he laid his hands on me. So glad he laid his hands on me. I once was alone, but now I'm found. Since Jesus laid his hand on me. He lay, he lay. So glad he laid his hand on me. I once was the Lord, but now I'm found. Since Jesus laid his hand on me, sign my name, sign my name up there. Oh, sign my name, sign my name up there. Sign my name with a golden pen, a golden pen, a golden. Sign my name up there. Sign my name. Sign my name up there. Oh, sign my name. Sign my name up there. Sign my name with a golden pen, a golden pen, a golden pen. Sign my name with a golden pen. Sign my name. Sign my name up there. Sign my name up there. Sign my name with a golden pen. With a golden pen, a golden pen, a golden pen, sign my name with a golden pen, sign my name up there, sign my name, sign my name up there, sign my name, sign my name up there. See what the Lord has done for us. 
Si, wala masigari. Si, wala la zapa. Si, wala masigari. Was a tumble, was a tumble, was a tumble and down. So let's press it all in me. Was a tumble, tumble and down. Was a tumble and down. When I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to take up your weapons and pray. For the Lord has given the authority to walk all over me. I command you, I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to take up your weapons and pray. And for the Lord has given the authority to walk all over me. I command you, I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to take up your weapon and fear. For the Lord has given the authority to walk all over me. But as lifted, lifted, but as lifted, my son, but as lifted, lifted, but as lifted, my son, but as lifted, lifted, but as lifted. Oh, when I think about the mercies of the Lord. Shout his praise of joy when I think about when I think about the mercies of the Lord. I have a right, I have a right to say and shout his praise with joy. Masa, 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 masa. Good as lifted, lifted, good as lifted, my son. Good as lifted, 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 good as lifted, my son. Good as lifted, lifted, good as lifted. When I think about the mercies of the Lord. Lifting, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you're worthy. We thank you, Lord, our burdens are lifted. Hallelujah, we thank you for this this morning. Tonight, hallelujah, you're worthy to be prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name. And now I sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Lord, have your way with me. 
Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I wait. Lord, I Lord, have your way, Lord. Lord, have your way. Hallelujah. You just have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, I gave you my heart. He wants, I gave you my soul. He wants your all tonight. I live for you alone. In every breath that I take, in every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way in me, Lord, have your way, yes, Lord, just have your way, have your way, Lord, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way in this church tonight. Lord, have your way in me. Thank you, Lord, have your way tonight. Have your way in me. Have your way. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in me. Hallelujah. Let's give God our praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, we are crying out to you tonight. Lord, have your way. Have your way in our homes tonight. Lord, have your way in me. Hallelujah, we thank you. Lord, have your way in me. Hallelujah. Start to win me with your anointing in my life. Start to win me with your presence. Lord, I want more. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Start to win me, oh Lord, today. Start to win me, Lord. Start to win me with your anointing in my life. Start to win me with your brother. Lord, I want more. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Start to win me, oh Lord, today. And in my let's declare it tonight. Lord, be glorified, be glorified in my life, in my life. Lord, be glorified today. Saturate me, saturate me with your anointing in my life. Saturate me with your presence. Lord, I want more. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, oh Lord, 
today. In my life, Lord. And in got to be glorified today. We got to be glorified in everything that we do. Hallelujah. We got to be glorified today. Hallelujah, God. God, you got to be glorified today, right now, in our present circumstances. God, you are going to be glorified today. In my life, oh Lord. God, wherever I do, God, you be glorified right now at this hour. You be glorified right now. God, we bind every principalities and power. Oh God, every rulers of darkness and high places against the word tonight. God, we pray right now as we release the anointing to function tonight. God, anoint your, your woman servant tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that your word shall take preeminence and that your word shall take root and your word oh God shall accomplish much in the mighty name of Jesus. God be glorified in everything that we do in everything that we say because we all want to just give you the honor and to give you the glory and to give you the praise our God we bless your name right now as your word declares make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands and to serve the Lord with gladness uh, and to come before his presence with singing knowing that he has made us and not we ourselves uh, our God we thank you Jesus uh, that you have considered us uh, in your plans uh, that you have considered us in your thought uh, and God you have given us the authority to command the works of your hands uh, in the name of Jesus God we thank you tonight be thou glorified God be thou glorified right now. Move, oh God, by your spirit right now. God, in all the homes right now, move by your spirit like the washing wind, God. Move by your spirit, God. Take authority right now and take control in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, oh God, we bless your name, God. Ah, oh God, we speak to every storm tonight to be thou still. Ah, oh God, as we enter into your time of rest, as we enter into your word, God, we are cautioned, oh God, to put on the whole armor of God. God, that we can stand and yet stand against the wiles of the devil. How much of us have stand this week? How much of us have stand in the month of May? How much of us are going to willing to stand with Christ in June and in the following months to come? We got to stand and yet stand against the wiles of the devil, taking on the whole armor of God. Ah, hallelujah, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith. We are girding our loins with truth tonight. And our feet must be covered with the preparation of the gospel of peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. We got to make him our savior tonight. If it is that you did not get a chance to worship God the few days that passed during this week, now is the time to connect with him. Do not allow your altar, hallelujah, to go to waste. Do not allow the cruise of oil to run dry. Are you hearing me this evening? We cannot allow our prayer life to close up. 
but it must be overflowing with love. Hallelujah. Out of our belly must flow the rivers of living waters. Are you hearing me today? We got to connect to the vine, which the Lord Jesus is that vine. So we are about to go into the word of God tonight. I'd like to welcome you. I'll present to you tonight our very own Minister Leonisa Smith. Amen. Let us give honor to whom honor is due and give honor to the woman of God. Hallelujah. As she comes in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings tonight. We thank you for your redemption. Sure. Hallelujah. As a woman of God comes in Jesus' name. Amen. To minister to us a powerful word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Be thou glorified. Hallelujah. She's hallelujah. Let to come on. Hallelujah. I just want to remind us tonight. Hallelujah. That God took seven, hallelujah, seven loaves and two fishes to feed 5,000 men. My God. Only seven loaves mm. and two fishes to feed 5,000 men. We have to understand that God is still in the miracle working business. I don't care what small thing you may have in your possession, but I just want to encourage us and to speak to you today that God can able to multiply. God is well able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we may ever ask of or think of or imagine in him. We are to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lead not unto our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. I don't want to take up too much time tonight, but I want to leave way for our speaker tonight to allow this seed to be sown, to germinate and to bring for a tenfold, some a hundredfold. Our oh God allow the seed of God to be planted in our hearts and to be planted in good soil that when it brings forth, it shall bring forth much fruit. So as the woman of God comes on tonight, let's prepare our hearts tonight. Let us sing this song to the Lord as she comes. Search me, O Lord, and know my heart today. See if there be any wicked way in me. We got to take out any thorns in our lives tonight. Any spirit of unforgiveness, we got to take it out tonight and allow God's word to purify us. Amen. Let us sing in Jesus' name. And search me, oh Lord, and know my heart today. Try me, O oh Savior, and know my thoughts, I pray. Just see if there be some wicked way in me. Cleanse me. From every sin and set me. I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight. Search me, O oh Lord. Search me, O oh Lord. And know my heart today. And try me, O oh Savior. And know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be, uh, just see if there be some wicked way, some wicked way in me. Cleanse me, O oh God, and cleanse me from every sin and me. Cleanse me, O oh Lord, and cleanse me from every day and save me. 
the hands together as she comes to her to minister the powerful word of God. Minister Leonidas Smith in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We serve a risen God. Yes. A God who is alive. A God who is risen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Because he has chosen us. And he has chosen us from a world of darkness into his marvelous light. Yes. So let us be the children of light that God wants us to be. That's why we sing this song, search your Lord and know my heart and see if there be any wicked ways in us. God wants to cleanse us from every sin tonight. And he wants to set us free. We need to be set free in this time. We cannot allow ourselves to be walking around with burdens, uh, unforgiveness, uh, and stay in this mess. Uh, let us ask God to release us and set us free. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. We want to welcome all our visitors and our guests, those who is listening on the Zoom and on the YouTube. We want to welcome you tonight. There's no other place to be than in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. When we are in his presence, we have fullness of joy. God give us that joy unspeakable and full of glory. So let that glory shine in us, let that light shine in us uh, and continue to shine forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And tonight, the team that God lay on my heart is restoration. Speak to yourself and say, Lord, Today is my day of restoration. Today is my day of breakthrough. Today is my day of release. God wants to restore us. And he wants to change our position. And put us in a better position to have that relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us stay connected. When he change our position, he wants us to stay connected with the Lord Jesus Christ. So the theme tonight is restoration. And let us pray. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory tonight, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for open heaven tonight, for revelation knowledge tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, bless our heart tonight. He said, he that have an ear to hear, let us hear what the Spirit have to say to us. Speak to our hearts and set us free tonight uh, so that we can hear what the Spirit is saying. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Pastor Kyle, are you hearing me? Amen. Go ahead. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So tonight, the scripture reading is taken from 
Joel, this prophet, Joel chapter 2, and I want us to read from verse 25 and 26. Well, those who have the Bible and they find it, let us read together that God could speak to our hearts. Amen. Joel chapter 2, verse 25 and 26. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I send among you. And this is God is saying this to us. He sent it. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you. Because you have given us some positive words of assurance tonight. Yeah. And we can say blessed assurance Jesus is mine because of the positive words we have here from you tonight, Lord. We can we want to thank you for these words of assurance and these words of encouragement that we know that you will restore all that the canker worms and the palmer worms has stolen from us. God is yes, is yes. God said yes, and I will restore to you the yes. A lot of us has been going through things for years. The devil has been stealing a lot of things from us. But God give us the courage and the assurance tonight and the word of comfort that he is going to restore all that we have been going through for the past years and still going through. God wants to restore for us tonight. That's why we can turn to Joel chapter 1 and verse 4, where God is showing us what the, 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 the Lucas has stolen from us. He said that which the palmer worms had left that which the palmer worms had left had the locust eaten, and which the locust had left had the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm had left, the caterpillar eaten. And this God is showing us, and we can prove it to see that sometimes. We are doing the same thing. When one left, another one came and eat. And when another one left, another one come and eat. And it's the same thing we are going through in our present situation. When we look in our bank account and we put money, all the money gone. When we look, our children is giving us problems from one situation to the next. When we look, our husband leave, our wife leave us. And it's from one situation to the other situation we are facing uh, and this is what the people were facing uh, from one situation to the next uh, but God and what is causing this problem is sin uh, sin separate us from the love of God the problem that we are facing is sin uh, because the Bible said the wages of sin is death uh, and these people were going through this because of sin uh, but God said to them Awake, you drunkard, 
because he realized they were drinking you drunkard and weeper and whole all ye junk drinkers of wine that's verse five in chapter one to our chapter one and verse five he said awake ye drunkards and weep and howl all ye drinkers of wine because of the new wine for it is cut off from your mouth he realized that the people were disobedient they're doing their own thing and it's the same thing with us today we know the truth uh, and we're still doing our own thing uh, we're still walking in disobedience uh, we still stiff naked uh, we're walking in rebellion uh, and this is what god is saying uh, it, we need to stop it yes and he said for the nation is come up verse six uh, for the nation is come up upon my land strong without number whose teeth are the teeth of lion and he and he had the cheek teeth of a great lion and he had laid my wine waste and back my fig tree he had make it clean there and cast away the branches thereof ah uh, made wine so he was saying to the people lament like the virgin girdle with sack load for the husband of your youth the meal offering and the drink offering is cut off but when we look is everything has been cut off and if we go further on everything the, the, the vine is dried up the tree is languished all kind of thing the pomegranate tree everything began to dry up but god was saying to the people that they need in verse 13 gird yourself and lament he preach all you ministers of altar come lie all night in sackcloth sackcloth ye ministers of my god for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholding from the house of the Lord. And there are times it's the same thing that is happening. The people don't even want to bring tithes and offering in the house of the Lord uh, because they are doing their own thing. Uh, but God was talking to the people and he said to them in verse Verse 16, he said, gather the people, sanctify the congregation. In verse chapter 2 and verse 16, he was saying, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, the assembly, the elder, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of the cloak, the earth. Said. In other words, God telling them to give up everything uh, and come and call a fast uh, so that they need uh, to give their life. They need to rend their heart uh, and not their garment uh, and turn unto the Lord your God for he's gracious and merciful. He says he's slow to anger and great in kindness. Repent him of this evil. So God is calling the people to repent. Uh, God is calling us uh, for a time of repentance uh, because God said, Who knoweth if he will, verse 14, he who knoweth if he will repent, return and repent. Uh, so God is calling us uh, to return to our first love uh, and repent uh, because uh, the land is in a serious. It. Uh, our, our, our lifestyle is in a mess. Uh, God wants our lifestyle to be like Jesus. Uh, and because our lifestyle is not like Jesus, uh, our life is in a mess. Uh, so God is calling us uh, in order for restoration to come. Uh, God is calling us uh, to repent uh, and turn or everything over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, because if we do not repent, uh, he said, 
terrible things uh, will happen to us uh, if we do not repent. Uh, so it's time for us to listen uh, to what the word of God is saying uh, because if we do not listen, uh, restoration would not come. Um, we will continue and the Lucas would, and the locust uh, and the canker worm uh, will continue to eat everything from us. Uh, they will destroy us uh, and we will end up dying in our sin. Uh, but today God has given us the opportunity to come when we said, he said in verse 23 and verse, verse 2, chapter 2, he said, be glad uh, then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice after repent uh, and we turn over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, God is a God has given us another chance, uh, and he's saying, be glad, then ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. So God has given us another chance. And he is saying to you and I, you know, when we look at, at, at verse 26, and he said, and ye shall eat in plenty. For those who was broke now will have plenty. Those who was in poverty, now God is going to give us prosperity. Those who couldn't even praise the Lord are able to praise the Lord now because he said, and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord. So you could praise God. You could dance like David dance because God is saying, be glad and rejoice in verse 23. He's telling us be glad because God is a God that has dealt with us wondrously. You know, in verse 26, he said, he has the same verse. He said, he has dealt with us wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. God will not put us to be ashamed as children of God. He don't want us to be ashamed. He's a God of mercy. He said he's a merciful God. I think it is in in verse. In verse verse um, thirteen, in chapter two, he said, "And rend your heart, and not your garment, and turn unto the Lord, for He is gracious and merciful." So He's showing us how God is so gracious to us. He's a merciful God. He's slow to anger and great in kindness and repented him of his evil. So we are serving a God who is gracious, a God who is merciful, a God who has compassion for us, that he is giving us another chance. Sometimes when we look at situation, we blame the devil so much and say the devil is the devil doing this and the devil doing that. But God said to himself, he is the one that allow it. He said in verse 25. I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worms and the caterpillar and the palmer worms my great army which i send among you god send this among us he allowed his locusts to come and we used to, many times we blame the devil and say the, the devil this but god allow it in order for purpose to be fulfilled in our lives in order to draw us closer to god in order to get our attention he allowed this that we will turn from 
our wicked ways uh, because this is some of the situation he wants us to do. That's why he said, if my people who are called by my name uh, shall humble, God allow this because he wants us to humble. He allow this because he wants us to pray. He allow this because he wants us to seek his face uh, so that healing would Come, so that restoration will come. If he didn't allow it, we would have continued in our wicked ways. But God, who, is, who has dealt with us wondrously, has given us a chance so that we could return back to our first love, so that we can repent. When we repent, the only way restoration would um, we have to repent. Uh, so some of us are living life that we are walking around uh, with unforgiveness uh, to our neighbors, uh, to our friends, uh, to our supervisors, uh, our husband, our children, uh, and we are walking around with them. Heart, uh, when God wants to restore our heart, uh, He wants to restore to us that joy uh, of our salvation. In, you know, in Psalm 51, He said He going to restore to us that joy and that joy unspeakable. He said that joy that I give to you and the world can't take it away. That joy is the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants to give us that joy joy again. Uh, so all that we are going through, the canker worms is upon our children. Uh, the Lucas is upon our children, uh, upon our home, upon our family. We have to get rid of that Lucas uh, and repent uh, and turn from our wicked ways uh, so that God could restore us. Uh, and when God restores us. Uh, he's going to bless us. Uh, he's going to cause fruitfulness to come out of us. Uh, many of us can't be fruitful uh, because we don't have that love in our heart. Uh, God wants us. God wants to bless us. He wants fruitfulness to come out of his children. So when he restores us, we can go in the highway and byway and bring souls into the kingdom of God. If we are not restored, we can go out in the highway and byway and preach the gospel because we are not yet being restored. We, our heart is not right with God. That's why he tell us, rent your heart and not your garment. Uh, many of us want to, 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 to look at our garment, but God is saying to us in verse 13, rend your heart uh, and not your garment, and turn unto the Lord, for he's gracious uh, and merciful. Uh, so make sure he wants you, that you will make sure uh, have a pure heart. Uh, uh, blessed are the pure in Heart, uh, for there is the children of God. Let us let our heart be pure. If we have iniquity in our heart, then the Lord will not hear us. Uh, that's why everything is drying up for us. Uh, that's why we cannot see our way. That's why we are we are we are complaining uh, and we are saying this is happening uh, and that is happening, uh, but is we allowing it to happen to our life uh, because we don't want to return back to our first love, uh, because we don't want to repent. And, uh, because we don't want to forgive one another. Somebody just has done something to you and you have carried it wrong in your heart for years. Uh, you have been taking this burden. Uh, leave all your burden uh, down by the riverside. Uh, and carry them no more. Stop walking around with this burden. God come to restore tonight. He said in verse 20, 25, and I, he give us the word of assurance, and I will restore to you the years, the locust, the eternal, the cankerworms, the caterpillar, 
the palmer worms and my great army with which I send among you. God is calling you to change. God wants us to change our lifestyle. The way we used to live, he don't want us to live it no more. The places we used to go, he said, don't go them no more. The, the, the things we used to say, we say them no more. God is calling us. Uh, to, God wants to transform our life. Uh, he wants to make a difference in our life uh, because Jesus Christ makes a difference. Uh, so let us uh, give up uh, everything. Uh, and let go and let God have his way. This is the season and the time and the hour for restoration. Would you let this pass you by and do not let go of all that the devil has given you? Let us serve God who is willing to change us. God, when you look at God, God does not change because he dealt with us wondrously. God is a God of compassion. He sends his name so short that he cannot save us. And his hair is not too earth, is not too heavy that he cannot hear us. What he wants us to do is to repent and to completely over to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will set us free. You know what I like about God? You know, when he, he was telling the people and them to repent and to come to, to, be, to, to repent and to return to the Lord Jesus Christ. He, he wanted them not to continue in the, 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 the way that they were living. So in verse 2, he said, Blow ye the trumpet of Zion and sung an alarm, my holy mountain, and let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is a night at hand. So they wanting them to sound that alarm and let them know that Jesus Christ is Lord. So let them turn from their wicked ways because he wanted them to know that Jesus is coming. He said that, 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 that for it is nigh at hand. And this is what God is saying. The song we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord at the mention of his name. Every knee shall bow and every song, tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He wanted the people to know that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is so we need to sound the alarm and let the devil know it's time to leave us alone and all we have to do is to surrender our all to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, will we allow this trumpet to blow? And we did not listen to the voice. Uh, he said today if they hear his voice. Uh, and, uh, Someone is blowing this trumpet uh, is to show us uh, is something serious that is taking place. Uh, so we need to re re return uh, and repent uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. He don't want us to remain in darkness. He wants us to come into that marvelous light. So let us take heed of what God is saying to you and I. And let us, as the word of God is saying to you and I, to allow God to restore to you the years. Some of us going through this years over and over and over and over, we're doing the, going through the same thing. And we don't want to examine ourselves to see something we ain't doing right to God. 
Let us examine ourselves and to see sin that is separating us from God. It's sin that allowing us not to get our breakthrough. It's sin that allowing us that we will not be blessed. It's because our heart is not right with God. But God gives a chance. He's a merciful God. He's a just God. And he's a God that heals. He's a God that delivers. And he's a God that will set free. So he said, who the son of man set free is free indeed. So let us return to the Lord. So the Lord will just bring back. He said, the former, the latter will be greater than the former. And if God promises us that the latter will be greater than the former, God's word is yea and amen. If you promise you got to restore our finances, you got to restore our marriage, you want to restore our children, you want to restore everything that the devil has stolen from us. So let us surrender our all tonight so God could restore all that the devil has stolen stolen from us. Oh, he said, if you used to cry and it was in pain, you would not cry no more because the people began to wail and cry out to God. And he said, I've broken and I contrived out. I would not despise. So we had to cry out. And that's why he all for the fast and he said give up everything because he wanted people to cry out to God and we are and ask God to, to, to forgive them so we need to cry out as the people cry out as they give up everything and let us cry out to God. Let us go before God broken. And God promised us we will not cry anymore. We will not go through this pain anymore because He will restore all that the cut you, the years that the cut the locusts have eaten. So we just want to thank God tonight for restoration. Yes. So it's restoration time. And the only way restoration will come is if you return to your first love and repent. God will restore all that the counter wounds has eaten. May God bless you tonight. And I pray that we will take heed of what God is saying to us. And that we will sound that alarm and let the people know want us to change. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dance, together for a wonderful word, powerful word today. God is good. Hallelujah. God is still good. Hallelujah. Even unto us, God is still real. And He's going to restore unto you. We gotta understand sometimes the prophetic word is in the atmosphere. When we are understanding that God, that the word of God is gonna transcend throughout all a generation. There's nothing new, there's underneath heaven, there's nothing new, there's underneath the sun. But God is gonna restore unto us the years. Come on, hallelujah. So so, so long we have been struggling with a situation and so long we have been going through our battle sometimes mostly by yourself god says he's gonna restore unto you the joy he's gonna restore unto you all the years of hardship he's gonna restore unto you everything that the locusts have eaten the conquer worms have eaten the caterpillar worms have eaten the palmer worms uh everything that the enemy has taken from you god is ready to release it but are we in a position ready to receive from god are we in the right place at the right time to receive our healing tonight we have to be in a move of god we have to see when god is moved we need that move of the Holy Spirit. You see, when the day of Pentecost had arrived and, and the disciples were in a specific place where God told them to reach, they were in that upper room 
And the word of God declares that when they were in that place and they started to worship God, that the Holy Spirit entered the room like a rushing wind. And this want to remind us we have to be in the right place at the right time to experience the blessings of God, to experience the move of God. It doesn't matter, hallelujah, right now where we are physically. What matters is where we are collectively and we are in the house of God. We are where we ought to be in the rest of God. We are surrounding ourselves with the word of God that's going to bring a transformation to us. We have to be in one mind and in one accord and allow the Holy Spirit to move. We need that move from God. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just want to just pray for us tonight. Just bow our heads tonight. As I release the anointing over us today, in the name of Jesus, God, by your grace, by your power, with the authority, through Christ, our Lord. Father God, we release the anointing right now in the homes. God, every warring, oh God, oh God, wife against husband, husband against wife, children against parents, parents. Lord, for every, every storm, God, we declare to be still right now in the name of Jesus. God, we release the peace of God. We release the presence of God right now in every home. Sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. God, hallelujah, we declare the word of God right now to be still and know that he is God. Hallelujah, God, we pray right now that you touch every heart right now. Let them recognize and realize that they were not against each other, not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness in high places. God, we restore the peace. Hallelujah, God, right now which the enemy has taken. God, we restore the joy in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, every hindrance today God, we rebuke it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, as we pray in accordance with the spoken word, God, you said you shall restore it. And Father God, we speak your word today. God, all our finances, God, that the enemy has taken from us, God, restore it today. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, God, all our strength that the enemy has tried to stop from us, God, restore it in the mighty name of Jesus. God, touch right now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, God, and we thank you. Father God, is said in everything to give you the praise and to give you the thanks. Oh uh, God, we release that, that anointing, Lord, Father, to destroy every yoke of bondage right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Lord, for your blessings. And God, we thank you, oh God, for restoration. God, we thank you for doing it again, oh God, Father. For this is the reason why the Son of God was made manifest, that he shall destroy every work of the devil. God, we thank you for doing it even at this time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, again, we just like to thank the Lord, amen, for the immensely in his respect tonight. Hallelujah, for bringing the powerful word of God. Hallelujah, we got to look up for redemption, joy, nigh. Hallelujah, we got to look up, we got to look to God, who is the author and finisher of our life and of our faith. We had to hold on to the hem of his garment and never let go till he blesses our waiting soul. Hallelujah, we got to hold on to the hem of his garment tonight. Hallelujah, we got to hold on and hold on and hold on. Hallelujah to him. Hallelujah. Despite what the enemy may throw all away, we have to hold on to Jesus Christ. For he is the one that giveth, and he is the one that can take away. And we are believing in God for a revival right now. We are believing in God for a restoration right now. And God, we declare this. And let it be in the name of Jesus. So I just want to encourage us today. Hold on to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on to him. He is our life. He's our refuge and our fortress. Hold on to Jesus. If you haven't tried him today, if you hadn't tried him yesterday, and you haven't tried him the days previous, try him right now. Hallelujah. Hold on to him. 
for he is the one that died for you and I. He gave up his life so that we shall have life and have it more abundantly and have that everlasting life through Jesus Christ, through him. So hold on to him today in Jesus' name. Let us sing this song. I surrender. Just lay down at his feet tonight. And I surrender all to Thee, my blessed Savior. So I surrender, I surrender. Wherever you are, if you can lift up your hands tonight, sing, I surrender. All to thee, God, all to thee, my, my blessed Savior. Surrender all to Jesus and all to Jesus. I surrender all to Him. I freely give. I will ever love and I. tonight all to thee all to thee my blessed savior I surrender all to Jesus I surrender verse all to Jesus and all to Jesus I surrender to him I will ever love and trust thee. I will ever love and trust in his presence. I surrender. I All to Jesus I surrender and all to Jesus I surrender and and Take me, Jesus. Come on, I surrender. I surrender. Oh, I surrender. I Let's see. 
We were doing us for breakfast. You know what? Blessed Savior, I Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord. All to thee, God. God, my blessed Savior, Lord. I surrender all. Hallelujah. If you have not made the Lord thy God, thy personal Savior today, take this time, take this opportunity to let him inside. Hallelujah. He's at the door. He's a gentleman. He will not force his way in on you. Are you hearing me? Like the thief forces his way into a house and break in. But God is at the door knocking at our hearts. And if you shall hear his voice right now, open up your heart and let him in. Yeah. My God. Lord and everlasting Father, repeat a man of sin and have for short of the glory of Almighty God. Father God, have mercy upon me. And answer me, God. Cleanse me, Lord, from all unrighteousness. Purify my heart, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we welcome you in. God, and if you come in, God, we shall make you the, our Lord and Savior. And God, I say thank you in Jesus' name. If you have said that little prayer tonight, I know that God has heard it. Uh, because we know that God don't hear the prayer of sinners. No, but God hears one who is repentant. God hears a repentant heart. And God is well able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we may ever ask or think of or imagine. All to him we surrender it all tonight. Lay down at God's feet. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. For he's greater than anything we can ever possible imagine. God has done it for us today. And we have to trust in the arms of the Almighty. That he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we may ever ask of or think of or imagine. And we thank the Lord for his mercy. We thank the Lord for his grace. In Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is written in. Bless his holy name. Amen.